I'm trapped here, day after endless day, with my one maniacal nemesis. Four complaints this week, four. This is the period when you take a period you and put, put it- put that donut hole away or I'm gonna shove it up your- You two are the worst part of my job. Hi, Austin, how are you? Hi, Bailey, I'm good, how are you? I am so good and I have to let you know, I am a huge rom-com girl. I'm the girl who rewatches the same ones over and over again. Right on, uh, okay. I think this movie has made the list. It's gonna be watched over and over. It was that good. All right, we'll take that. Are you a rom-com guy? One of my favorite movies is When, when Harry Met Sally. Okay. Uh, I just absolutely love that movie. Uh, and mean, then all, all the usual suspects, at Notting Hill and um, nice. Uh, 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 how to lose a guy in 10 days. Oh, that's my uh, favorite. That yeah, is... that's good. I mean, McConaughey and Kate Hudson had a good little run yeah. there. Yeah. That's a pretty good duo. This movie is obviously based on the best selling book. Mm -hmm. And to say that people are harsh about it, if it's not exactly like the book is being nice. <laughs> so did that make you nervous about joining this project? No, it didn't make me nervous. It made me excited. That, that there were so many fans out there already. And to bring to life a character like that, I, I think that's a, a dream for all of us. I, I remember as a kid, I would always pretend to be James Bond or Indiana Jones or uh, yeah, Batman. And um, so to get to step into the shoes of, of a character that is so beloved, I, I think that's a, a great honor. And so I would, no, it wasn't worrisome. It was, it was exciting. So this movie, I mean, it's about coworkers trying to figure out that workplace relationship. Mm. I'm curious. I know it gets complicated. What are your thoughts? Workplace relationships? Just a no-go, never go there? Very touchy, but the heart wants what the heart wants. And so, uh, so there, there are no rules. All is fair in love and war, as Lucy Hutton says. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, I would love to say that I've never done it, but uh, I'd be lying if I if I said it did. Wouldn't we all? I mean, my parents, hey, I am a product of a workplace relationship there. I feel so. like it happens all the time, really. There's something to be said about it. An HR department somewhere is screaming, but there's something to be said about it. <laughs> Your co-star, Lucy Hale, from what I gather, actually suggested you for this film, right? Yes, uh, so she was already attached to the film and she had been for a couple of years and we, we met on Fantasy Island and, um, and I think when this was getting geared up to go again and she had some time in her schedule that I came up and I, I was really delighted that she said so. Um, uh, I, I felt like I understood the character really well. I feel like we had the perfect chemistry for Lucy and Josh. Um, we both really understood our mission here, um, that it, it's, you have two people who see me, you know, look at, each, look at each other from across the room and say, you're not right for me at all. And on the inside, they're perfect for each other. And so getting to break down their shells that they put up um, uh, on screen and show that journey together where they find each other was a lot of fun. And to do that with a friend is a blessing. Yeah. So clearly you guys have worked on a couple of projects together. What would you say is your favorite thing about working with Lucy? She's a total professional. She nails it. Like I have been on sets and I'm not going to name names, but where people <laughs> name are up, figuring name up, please. it out. I will not. Uh, where people are figuring it out on the fly. Um, and Lucy is a consummate professional. Uh, she comes in and nails it all the time. And she, uh, she's been doing this uh, since she was a kid. So she knows uh, she, she can wear many hats, not just of the actress. She has ideas about direction. She has ideas about um, how to make the scene more alive. And, um, and at, at the end of the day, just uh, uh, more, more pleasing to an audience, which is our mission. Yeah. I mean, you both killed it. I'm going to take all my girlfriends and go see it in theater. Oh, good. Yeah. Yes. Really quick. What's your go-to movie theater snack? Uh, anything with peanut butter. So Reese's Pieces. Yeah, but I, I do like the combination of popcorn and candy. So like the Reese's inside the inside the popcorn. Perfect. Well, we're going to go and we're going to eat everything and watch the Hating Game in theaters. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you, Bailey.
Lucy, when you first met Josh, what did you think? I thought he was cold and freakishly uptight. I thought Lucy was a spineless kiss-ass. It was hate at first sight. Mm-hmm. <laughs>